being obedient as well. <laughs> Good morning. We're just finishing out the... <laughs> Again, we're just finishing out the 9 a.m. hour. We're going to be starting our prayers for prodigals here in just a moment. Uh, this is Sister Billie Jean Bishop. So we'll just uh, we'll just give them a few minutes to continue to pray. Uh, those of you that have jumped online with us, please share this out. Praise the Lord. Uh, good morning, Sister Vicki. We're just waiting for them to finish out the 9 o'clock hour. Praise the name of Jesus. It's always good. It's always in order to pray and to give godly counsel. So we'll just give them a moment to finish up. But uh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. All right. Welcome this morning. Uh, this is Sister Bishop. Please share this. <laughs> so you just prepare now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's been a great hour. Thank you all for joining Sister Billy Jean Bishop, are you on the line? I am. Praise God. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Thank you for a great hour of prayer and encouragement. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning again to those that are on Facebook. Uh, we are now live on the conference call, and we would like to ask you to share this out. Um, today is day 82. We are in our last week. Of prayers for prodigals and before I uh, ask sister Sherry Shumway who's part of our partners in prayer team leaders that leads our our group in an hour of prayer we appreciate sister Shumway so much before I do I would like to make some announcements so if you would please share this uh, this is Monday a week from Tuesday tomorrow we will end our 90 days of prayer so we want to finish strong we want to finish with our faith tank filled up and ready to continue to pray for our families at that time we will end our daily devotions for prayers for prodigals so we want you to uh, join us strong in this last seven days uh, let's pray let's fast next Tuesday, the last day, the 90th day of prayers for prodigals will be a day of fasting. We will fast with Hope Ministries, with Donald and Diane Long. Hundreds of churches will be fasting. And so we want you to participate in day 90, which is uh, Tuesday, June the 29th. And we will end our 90 days of prayer. Um, also this week... Uh, we want you to be uh, prepared to join on and to share. You can hit your share button and it'll open up to your Facebook friends list. Just begin to share it out. You never know. We've had backsliders listening and we've had them respond too. And so we're praying and we're reaching for the backsliders. If you have someone that has a powerful testimony, we're going to be sharing testimonies. Uh, that's what I'm going to reach out for, to my PIPS team to do. Every time there's a return prodigal or an encouragement given to a parent, we're going to continue to share those testimonies on our prayer calls. They'll be brief, um, but we're going to just take the next few months and we're going to continue to exalt and lift up the God who hears and answers prayer. Uh, tomorrow I will have a special guest speaker, Sister Stone, will be helping us do the devotion on day 83. Wednesday is Sister Diane Long with Timothy Hurd, and it's going to be part two. Timothy leads a ministry for to overcoming addicts, and on um, Thursday... Uh, will be, I have, oh, Dustin Long, the son of Diane and Don Long, and that's going to be at the same time, 10 o'clock, Dustin's going to be sharing a powerful word with us, Friday, June 25th, somebody posted in the comments, Friday, June 25th, the author of our book that we're following in these daily devotion, this scriptural journey that is written by Dr. James Banks. Dr. Banks and his wife, I hope, will be joining us on Friday. Sister Diane Long will be uh, introducing him. 
uh, Friday, 10 o'clock, June 25th. So somebody post that, Sister Elaine. If you can write that in the comments, that'd be awesome. All right, I think we've got all the announcements out of the way. We've got a full week, five days, five days. And then you can pray on the weekends and look at the devotion. It's not too late to purchase this book, 90 Days of Prayers for Your Prodigals. And you can begin to pr begin your 90 Days of Prayer. We will again return in October, uh, October 1st, and we'll start another 90 Days of Prayer. Oh, I forgot one more announcement. We've been announcing it every day, and we'll continue to announce it. Prayers for Prodigals Conference coming up in November. It's time now to ask some time off from work, time to prepare your purchase of your tickets. Uh, you can fly into several airports around the, the area of Alexandria, Louisiana. It's going to be November 12th and 13th, and uh, the Pentecostals of Alexandria are hosting this. Okay, Sister Shumway. We're going to get you on yes. on this in the saddle this morning. <laughs> We're going to get you in the okay. saddle and and turn you loose. <laughs> Lord, I just thank you, God, that you have brought us this thank far. You, I thank you for the new volunteers that you have given to us. I believe that everyone that has joined us has been divinely sent by you. God, I believe, Lord, that everyone that has testified in this 90 days of prayer, God, is building, Lord God. Lord, a place and a time where your spirit will continue to flow and there will be an ingathering of prodigals i'm claiming the prophecies lord that have been spoken over this group over lord god everyone that is praying for the return of the backslider i pray for the woman of god sister shumway that has made herself ready that has studied lord god let us hear what the spirit would say to us through the teaching of the word of god i ask for a personal word for my family i pray for a personal word of encouragement for every listener god I pray, Lord, that this recording and this live call will find its way into the hearers, Lord, to encourage hearts, to bind up those that are bruised, to set those that are captive free, and to communicate, God, to this broken world that there is a church ready for the return of the prodigal. There is a church ready to embrace them and love them, and we can do this together. We are better together, and we can, Lord God, overcome come, Lord, and live for you until that day you call us home. God, I ask this in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Shumway. I'll be right here. Take your liberty on day 82, and I believe she's going to recap the weekend for us, too. Thank you, Sister Shumway. I love you, and I appreciate you. Praise God. Good morning, everybody. And I want to welcome and thank every single person that has joined us today. Uh, we must, today and every day, we must trust God's heart for our prodigals during this journey. So, Lord Jesus, I commit myself to you. I will walk in obedience to you and your word. I consecrate and give myself to much prayer in the remaining days ahead, Lord, and beyond. During the teaching of this lesson this morning, I want to let everybody know that we are going to be praying. So I ask you to stay in an attitude of prayer while I teach. Um, as Sister Bishop said, I am going to do what she has done for the past several Mondays. And I'm going to recap on this past Saturday and Sunday's prayer, day 80 and day 81, before we pray today's day 82. Um now, Saturday was day 80 on our journey with this Prayers for Prodigals. And the theme for day 80 is sitting in the courtroom. On this past Friday, Sister Bishop on the Prayers for Prodigals call had prayed, went ahead and prayed day 80 from James Banks' book, Prayers for Prodigals. However, I would like to go ahead and read what Sister Diane Long posted on Facebook for day 80. His kindness leads us to repentance. The scripture for day 80 is, If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who would stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. Psalms 130, verse 3 and 4. God's mercy endures even to death. He is the best father, always loving, 
and reaching. Our beloved prodigals are surrounded by his faithfulness. He hears our petitions every single day. He may in a moment of kindness bring them to a crossroads of decision, which will lead them to repentance. He is always good in that moment, looking down with compassion. He shows grace and mercy in abundance. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. Isaiah 55, verse 7. Should they stand in a courtroom before a judge, may their minds go to that day when we will all stand before God's judgment seat. Romans 14, verse 10. And may his kindness lead them to repentance. So on yesterday, Sunday for day 81, the title was Should Have, Would Have, Could Have. The author refers to Isaiah 48, verse 18. Oh, thou hast hearkened to my commandments. Then had thy peace been as a river and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. I know someday our prodigals will have their regrets, Lord Jesus. I would like to send this prayer on ahead to that time. One day they will look back on their life and wish they had done things differently. They will regret difficult things that pass between us and feel a hurt in their heart because of the love you have given us for each other. On that day, Lord, because you are the one who comforts us in all our troubles, I ask that you quiet our sons, quiet our daughters with your love. Today I pray that they will know your presence and the peace you alone can give to those who walk with you as their Lord and as their Savior. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you will speak tenderly to each of them. For only you know the conversations that they will listen to and tell them that their sins have been paid for. Thank you, Father, that we can bring all of our should'ves, would'ves, could'ves to you and find healing and hope. This morning, I pray you will turn them around from the road that leads only to regret and draw their hearts back to you, merciful Father. I praise you, Lord Jesus, that with you, with you, new beginnings are possible every single day because your compassion and mercy is new every morning. With you, we can press on toward the goal of heaven and hope. We need not long for the months gone by, not even looking into the past because you are always with us. Here the author wrote, you even have our future completely under control. We need not fear tomorrow because you, Lord Jesus, are already there. You hold time in your hands. You're our God is Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. Lord, you wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. I pray that your grace will reach our sons and our daughters. I pray that your grace will reach our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our prodigals in the same way so that they can turn their back on the past and look to you with confidence. I pray this day, Lord Jesus, that you will take the shame from them this very moment as I speak to you, Lord. Let them hear you say, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. I pray that they will repent of their sins and know that they are completely forgiven, merciful Father. Your word promises, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. I pray this morning that our sons and our daughters, our prodigals, will be glad and rejoice forever in what you will create that may be with their joy, and then they will be yours. In the mighty name of Jesus. So for day 81, I want to read to you what Sister Diane Long posted on Facebook. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your righteousness like the waves of the sea, Isaiah 48, verse 18. I never meant to go as far away from God as I did. I kept telling myself I was okay. No one ever intends to be a prodigal. I had no idea where my choices would take me and who all I would hurt. It was much harder to come back than it ever was to leave. I feel like a load has lifted off my shoulders. Why did I wait so long? 
I was afraid that no one really wanted me to come back. I just kept thinking my life was okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't think I was hurting anyone, but I was. I left, left God out, or at least he wasn't a priority. Above are a few statements we've heard from those who once were prodigals. <coughs> Excuse me. True peace comes from God alone. Whatever you're saying today, just come home to Jesus. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah 1 verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Isaiah 43 verse 18 through 20. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Now we come to today, day 82. Our theme for today is everything she ever wanted. And the author refers to Isaiah 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. In the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. If our sons and our daughters, our prodigals, walk with you, Father, it changes everything. They will have peace in you because you are our peace. You are our Prince of Peace. You are Jehovah Shalom. They will have every blessing they need because in your grace, you never take your eyes off the righteous. What a full and beautiful life you have planned for our children, Lord, our grandchildren, our prodigals, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that they will hear the promptings of your spirit telling them in repentance and rest is your salvation, in quietness and trust is your strength. Allow them to repent of their sins and find peace with you, merciful Father, because your word tells us that the goodness of God leadeth us to repentance. Because there is no one righteous, not even one, Lord. No one righteous but you. I pray for the righteousness only you can give, which is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Clothe them with garments of salvation because all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Cover them with your righteousness, merciful Father. If they ask you for wisdom, you give freely to all without finding fault, Lord. You said that in your word. I pray that they will ask and will receive so that their joy will be complete. You are complete joy, Lord Jesus. Please help our children, our grandchildren, our prodigals to make that discovery, merciful Father. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, and in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand is pleasures forevermore. Then they will find everything they ever wanted in all that you are. I pray that they will come to the full measure of the blessing of Christ and become a blessing to others. Almighty God, if they come to you and remain in you, we know that they will bear much fruit, the fruit of the Spirit in their own lives, pointing others to you. May they bear fruit, Lord, fruit that will last, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and temperance, Almighty God. By your grace and mercy, Lord Jesus, I ask you to urge them to share the story of what you have done for them with confidence to all who will listen. Take the shame from them, Almighty God. Take the shame from them, Lord. Unite their hearts to reverently fear you, Almighty God, for you said in your word, if we have the reverence of fear of the Lord, O oh God, that we will have self-confidence. Give them your confidence, O oh God. But first of all, let our children, our grandchildren, our prodigals discover your exceeding greatness of power to us where we believe. Almighty God, we ask you, let it today, let today be the day that they start running towards you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. Praise God. This is what Sister Diane Long posted for today, day 82 on Facebook. Ask, using my name and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. 
The fruit of righteousness will be peace. The effect of righteousness will be quietness and confidence forever. Isaiah 32, verse 17. Searching for love, inner happiness, peace, and confidence in the wrong places happens before one realizes they have become entangled in a web. What they thought was, isn't. Lord, you are peace. Ephesians 2, verse 14. You promise that we can trust that wherever we are, In any situation with you, we can have peace. With you, there is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, Romans 14, verse 17. And it is promised to those who call on you, Psalms 145, verse 18, whether they be near or far. Our prayer today is that your spirit draws our beloved prodigals close to you, merciful Father. The life you plan for them is abundant. Joy complete only in you. John 16, verse 34. Lord Jesus, we come before your throne once again, Almighty God. Reaching out, oh God. We're reaching out to every prodigal, oh God. Every son, every daughter, merciful father. Every mother, every father. Every grandchild, every great grandchild, oh God. Every brother, every sister, every niece, every nephew, every uncle, every aunt, Lord. And we call up in your holy name if we find grace and mercy in your sight, oh God, to rebirth and reactivate the reverence of fear of the Lord in their lives so that they'll see they need a Savior this day, Almighty God. Every day we pray, oh God, for each day, oh God, we're asking for that prayer to come to pass today, Lord, this day, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, reach down, oh God, as we had asked you earlier, Lord, and speak to them, oh God, with that still, sweet voice, oh God. Only you know how to communicate to each and every single one of our our prodigals, Lord. Reach, oh God, and speak to them, Lord. Everywhere they go today, Lord, everything they do, everything they see, Lord, let it remind them, oh God, of once being in your presence, oh God, and pour a hunger and a thirst into their souls, oh God, to long for that presence again, to to want to stay in that presence, oh God, to want to draw closer to you, oh God, and rid of the past, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and repent of every sin, oh God, repent of everything that they have brought wrong, they have said wrong, oh God, repent of everything that has been in their heart, oh God, oh we worship you and magnify you and we praise you, Lord, we thank you, Almighty God, because we know, oh God, that you had promised this, oh God, in day 90, Lord, that you could open up that faucet, oh God, for for it, Lord, oh God, in Jesus' name, and you're going to start coming back, Lord. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're the sovereign God, you're the righteous God, you're the almighty, the all-knowing, oh God, the all-powerful God, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, hallelujah. Speak to them, oh God, in Jesus' name, Lord, that they'll become tired, oh God, of being in the pigs pen and they'll come to themselves, Lord. And that they'll say they want to return to the Father's house, oh God. That they want to return to the house of God, Lord, and prepare us, oh God. Prepare us and teach us, Lord, how to receive them, Lord, and love them, Almighty God, with open arms, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we are seen for him and stand in the gap for him, we will not stop praying, oh God, because we have heard every return article, oh God, tell us, oh God, don't stop praying, mothers and fathers, don't stop praying, grandmothers and grandfathers, don't stop praying for your prodigals, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We will not only pray for our own, oh God, but we'll reach out for others, Lord. We'll reach out for others, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you and we magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise your holy name. We praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, we can open up the prayer line for prayer request. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Jesus. If Sister Bishop wants to close out Facebook, those of you are on Facebook, if you want to dial in 563-999-2833 so that we can take prayer requests and keep it personal. Praise God. Praise God. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is there anyone on the prayer line that has a prayer request? Thank you, 